In a couple of weeks, when the sky goes dark, many of us will look up. Everything is a circular orbit. But Kim Brewer says it's also a good time to look back. From the beginning of man, people stop to look at solar eclipses, and what are we doing? Brewer, a history professor at UT Arlington, says solar eclipses, like the one we'll see April 8th, have always been captivating. Which is why you all are excited to see this eclipse. And throughout much of human history, equally terrifying. About the eclipse of the sun king. Of the Maya civilization understood eclipses and got pretty good at predicting them. They still believed the sun's disappearance was no coincidence. They were thinking the sun god is angry with us. What have we done? What do we need to atone for whatever we're doing? Because next time maybe the sun won't come back. Where the Maya saw a god, other cultures like the Chinese saw dinner. Whether it's a celestial dragon or a wolf or a jaguar or something's eating the sun. Brewer's medieval technology and scientific thought class has been studying these nearly 300 year old charts which document mankind's historical understanding of the cosmos. These charts. This is a book called Cosmography. And by, this book. Uh, this is a book from 1534. Are housed within the special collections at the UTA library. You know, this page here is showing. Evan Spencer who oversees the archives says to celebrate April's solar eclipse. All of this and more will be on display and open to the public starting next week. A chance to see how our understanding of solar eclipses may have changed, but our obsession has not. We're still looking up at the stars trying to understand new things. It's our time and we all better hope that the gods, the fates, the dragons take the clouds away for us. If they don't, forget history. All we'll have is a shady past. So they're looking at it for different reasons. <coughs> In Arlington, I'm Sean Giggy. Well, you can watch WFAA's two-hour solar eclipse special starting at noon on April 8th. The eclipse's peak is set to happen at 142.